And two people stood out in particular, an eight-year-old boy at the time, a friend of the Jensen's son. He's 32 years old now. And the other uh, former superintendent of Kenosha schools here, both say they're still haunted by what happened that week. The antifreeze poisoning death of 40-year-old Julie Jensen stunned her family and circle of friends and reverberated through the community in 1998. He told me that his mother is sick and that his dad will not take her to the hospital. Eric Shore still remembers his third grade best friend David Jensen at school hours before his mom Julie Jensen died. David's demeanor was grave, concerned, nervous, worried. A few weeks after Julie Jensen's death, Shore testified he met a woman at the Jensen house. Prosecutors claim Mark Jensen had been having an affair. And saw Kelly laying on their bed. Um, and as I continued past the door, I saw Mr. Jensen standing away from the bed with his shirt off. Prosecutors say the affair was Jensen's motive for getting his wife out of the way. Then Kenosha Bradford principal Joseph Mangy testified he wanted to hire Julie Jensen for a part-time job and called to tell her the day before she died. He got Mark on the phone instead. His response was, she's asleep. She's going to be asleep for a long time. And he left. Prosecutors say at that moment, Julie was suffering an agonizing death in her bedroom. It was disconcerting but it definitely was a laugh, you know, like you would make light of a, of a situation. It was a day or two later that I learned that she had died. Nick, because this is a retrial, there is an interesting twist with some of the testimony. Right, Patrick, uh, this death, as we said, was nearly 25 years ago. Some of the witnesses the prosecution would like to call are now deceased. So they are playing in court. The judge is allowing testimony from Jensen's first trial in 2008. And the jury is told that they're to consider that testimony that they're watching on TV monitors as if those witnesses were here testifying live. Nick Bohr reporting live from Kenosha tonight. Nick, thank you.